Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is me going over Q2 of the weekly contest 228. Count number of homo homogeneous uh, substrings. So this one is just becomes a math problem. The way don't let the way that they I mean, I would say for a problem like this, um they they the example will try to f uh make it confusing because if it doesn't then because if it doesn't then you know it'll just give you directly how to do this problem but though even then it should be um kind of straightforward the idea is just math right so hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord did i say that already i don't know maybe i you have to count the number of times there's a larius substrate i don't know i got nothing i just woke up so i'm a little bit rusty but the idea is that okay you know uh for so this for this problem, the key node is noting that it's contiguous. And once you do that, for example, you have this, this string. You know, you have A, which is one character in a row. B, B, which is two characters in a row. C, 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 which is three characters. A, A is equal to two, right? So then now you just kind of um, take that and one is equal to just one, for example. Two means that, you know, the two... Um, yeah, it's just one plus two ways of doing it, right? Because what what does this mean? Well, there's two ways of of having um, a string of length one, and then one way of a strength of length two. So then this is, uh, you know, this is three. This is one here, right? Well, the three ways that we have one C, we have two ways of getting two Cs. You know, this two and this one, and then one way of getting three Cs and Hopefully by now you see a pattern, uh, and from that pattern, um, yeah, you just kind of uh, take the one plus three plus six plus three, which in this case should be thirteen. If not, then uh, you know we really messed up somewhere, and that should be your answer. And that's basically the idea behind this problem is that you know for each uh, contiguous substring that is you know the same characters, you just sum them up to get. Uh, oops, uh, yeah, you you. You know, there's an easy formula for this, uh, which is n choose two, is it? Yeah, um, or n times n plus one over two. I, I always mix those two, but and if you watch me during the contest, I actually tried both because I always mix them up. But um, but yeah, once you get that, then you just sum it all up. But don't forget the mod, and that's basically this problem. Um, because given ten to the fifth, if it's all together, then it could go over uh, int right, um, and Actually, is that true? Yeah, that's a little bit awkward, actually, maybe. But I did it in Python. Uh, I would also recommend adding a mod here, but in, in Python, it doesn't really matter because it, you know, you should use a 64-bit int if you can um, or whatever it is in your language because I know JavaScript doesn't have it, for example. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have. So basically, I use group by. This is a very python -y thing to do. And Python gives you... A uh, goodbye x is actually just the, the string that or the character that's being repeated. Y gives you a list of the characters that are grouped the same way. And in this case, we just went, want the length of the list. And then we apply the formula, which is t times t plus 1, as we said, over 2. Uh, and then we just sum them all up. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is linear time, constant space. Should be straightforward. Why? Because we just have a for loop. Uh, and this also is in constant time. So, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, that's all I have for this problem. You can watch me solve it next. Now.
Oops. Hmm, what's the... Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem in general. Uh, yeah, take care of yourself, take care of others. Uh, stay, you know, stay good, stay well, to good mental health, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.